Growing up with elephants, bringing joy to the elderly and leaning on a queen for family support. She might not be a household name, but Aisha Shand is making moves that are worthy of the royal spotlight. At first blush, Aisha Shand appears to be named after the Indian princess of Jaipur. For Aisha's father, Mark Shand, this is exactly the story of Aisha's name, as it is a nod to his wide travels and her royal lineage. But for Aisha's mother, former actor Cleo Goldsmith, the name held a deeper meaning. It's literary, based on H. Ryder Haggard's 1887 novel, She, A History of Adventure. In the novel, Aisha is depicted as a mysterious 2,000-year-old white queen ruling over a lost kingdom in Africa. The circumstances circumstances surrounding Aisha's birth were marked by challenges and isolation. Goldsmith recalled the experience to Vanity Fair, saying, Mark set off traveling and I was alone with this baby. I had had a terrible birth, so I had to be operated on, and I was very traumatized. Alone with her newborn baby, Goldsmith faced the aftermath of her traumatic birth and grappled with the emotional toll of her experiences. Perhaps this traumatic birth has something to do with why she resonated with the name Aisha, the embodiment of a woman in a position of power in a faraway land unfamiliar to the new mother. Through her name and her journey, Aisha embodies a blend of history, literature, and resilience. Shan's childhood was a whirlwind of adventure and cultural exploration, largely spent in the vibrant city of Rome. Her mother spoke to Vanity Fair about her decision to move to Rome while Aisha's father was away a lot for work, saying, One day I decided I've got to react. He'd been months away, so I wrote him a note that said, Gone to live in Rome with Aisha. If you want to join us, here's the plane ticket. The family went on to live in Rome for seven years before returning to London in 2008. Growing up as an only child, Aisha's upbringing was characterized by chaos and constant movement. Since her father was frequently away on his expeditions, he tried to make up for leaving behind his family by bringing back souvenirs. As Aisha described to The Telegraph, Dad would come back with chests full of gifts from different lands and Mum's eastern sculptures were everywhere. It was like a treasure trove. Our house was a souk. Cleo Goldsmith and Mark Shan divorced shortly after their return to London. Aisha reflected on her parents' divorce, telling The Telegraph, My parents had outlived their love. I think it was too colorful and wild for real life. It was something out of a novel, a film. At the age of 17, Shand did what most teenagers do, rebelled against her parents in a bid for independence. The teen moved out of her family home and dyed her hair blonde to prove her autonomy. However, her father had a mischievous plan up his sleeve to teach his daughter a valuable lesson. In an attempt to mend their strained relationship after a disagreement, Mark brought Aisha to what she thought would be a luxurious restorative spa retreat, only to find herself thrust into the rigorous regimen of a boot camp. Recalling her entrance into the spa, Aisha told The Telegraph, I was in my designer gym gear and this man shouted, get on the floor, give me 50. I said, you want 50 pounds right now? You want a huge tip? Thrown into the midst of discipline, Aisha initially protested activities like running through mud. However, as the reality of this situation dawned on her, she begrudgingly participated in the activities set forth for her by the former soldiers who ran the boot camp. Reflecting on the experience, Aisha now laughs at the memory, telling The Telegraph that while she hated her father at the time for it, she harbors no ill will. I know he was just trying to get me back in some way. Shand is following in her father's footsteps as a passionate conservationist and advocate for wildlife protection. Aisha recalled her first recollections of this lifelong passion, telling the Tatler, My first memory of elephants is my dad sitting me down and telling me that he had bought me a pet. Now, Aisha is actively involved in initiatives aimed at raising awareness about wildlife conservation through her foundation, the Elephant Family. The organization focuses on coexistence strategies in India. Now, how many elephants have been killed by, the, uh, by electrocution? Over the last uh, 10 years, 85 elephants have been killed by electrocution. Reflecting on her father's legacy, Aisha emphasizes the importance of continuing his work, saying, When he passed away, I became much more involved because I wanted to continue his legacy. All the work he did was so important, and I wanted to make sure that was continued. For Aisha, conservation is not just about protecting nature, but also about celebrating its beauty and eccentricity. The elephant family also happens to be a family affair, since Aisha's aunt, Camilla, Queen Consort, and King Charles III are both joint presidents of the charity. In 2014, Mark Shand, who was Queen Camilla's brother, tragically lost his life in an accident while in New York for a charitable auction. After his death, Aisha was left with the challenging task of orchestrating her father's funeral. In addition to his philanthropy work, Mark was a lively and passionate person, and Aisha was determined to give him the farewell that he deserved. In order to do this, Aisha did not allow anyone, including royal attendees, to wear black to her father's funeral. She did this to ensure that his funeral was a celebration of life, rather than a somber affair. She told the 
Telegraph. I didn't want 400 people dressed in black crying. I wanted people to have a good time. It was spring and there were flowers, and we had an Indian tent, and I wanted everyone in purple and green and Indian colors. The funeral was a testament to Mark's profound connection with India, particularly exemplified by his bond with an Asian elephant named Tara. Aisha fondly recalls the extraordinary relationship shared between her father and Tara, telling the Telegraph, they were like brother and sister. I've never seen anything like it. He bought Tara, wrote a book about her, rode her. Despite the profound loss felt by all, Aisha's decision to infuse the funeral with colour and joy encapsulated her father's zest for life and adventure. Through this unique tribute, she ensured that Mark Shan's legacy would endure in the vibrant memories of those who cherished him. Camilla, Queen Consort, played a pivotal role in helping Aisha Shand cope with the devastating loss of her father. In an interview with the Daily Mail, Aisha expressed her deep gratitude for her aunt's unwavering presence, saying, She has been incredible in being there for me, not only personally but also in maintaining my father's legacy and being there for him. Reflecting on her brother's death, Camilla shared her own anguish with Vanity Fair, writing in an email that she missed her brother every day. Despite the profound loss, Aisha displayed remarkable resilience in her own interview with Vanity Fair, stating, in in my opinion, it was his time to go. As much as that seems really odd, he would have hated to be an old man. He would have hated to sit by a fire, grumbling, bored, his life without adventure. Shand engages in other philanthropic work alongside her family. In collaboration with her cousin, artist Alice Irwin, Aisha initiated the project My Dear New Friend in 2020, aiming to combat loneliness among the elderly that occurred as a result of the numerous COVID-19 lockdowns. Irwin told the Daily Mail that the charity came about because of an attempt to get her children to do something during lockdown. It turned out that writing letters to the elderly wasn't possible due to data protection laws, but Irwin and Shand found a simple solution, with Irwin saying, I realized that if the children address it to my dear new friend, there's nothing that would stop us writing. The children wrote and I got a call from the care home saying it had brought unbridled joy. Aisha eventually became involved as well, telling the Daily Mail that she began helping through Instagram and reaching out to friends to participate. The initiative gained momentum as more people became involved, spreading through word of mouth and social media. By fostering connections across generations, my dear new friend not only combats loneliness but also helps children learn empathy and understanding. With a master's degree in art history from the University of Edinburgh and a job working in an art gallery, Aisha's passion for the arts was cultivated from a young age. Speaking of how she was inspired to pursue the art field, she told The Telegraph, We'd spend our holidays in town markets and I was taken along like the extra suitcase. My mum and dad would say, Stay here for six hours, we'll be back, and I'd be left to wander. I always ended up buying figurines of animals and weird stuff. A straight-A student at Edinburgh University, Aisha's academic excellence and artistic inclination paved the way for her career in the art industry. Aisha is currently serving as an associate director at the prestigious Hauser & Wirth Art Gallery in Mayfair. She uses her connections in the art world to drive her philanthropic efforts forward, specifically with the Elephant family. Her creative contributions to the organization's initiatives reflect her commitment to using art as a vehicle for social impact and conservation awareness. Shan shares a close bond with Princess Eugenie, daughter of Prince Andrew, and works alongside her at Hauser & Wirth. Their relationship extends beyond professional collaboration, with Aisha finding solace and support from Eugenie during challenging times, including when her father passed away in 2014. Eugenie has forged a path in the art world, leveraging her degree in English and art history from Newcastle University. Alongside her sister, Princess Beatrice, Eugenie is part of the royal family's transition into the working world, balancing royal responsibilities with her career aspirations. Aisha, slightly more removed from the royal lineage, did not have to face the same decision between career and royal responsibilities. The two women share a professional and personal friendship that illustrates the strength of their bond. In January 2024, Aisha opened up about her battle with endometriosis, shedding light on the debilitating effects of this often misunderstood condition. It's... hours of agony that come on. Endometriosis, affecting 1 in 10 people who menstruate, is notoriously challenging to diagnose and treat. There is currently no known cure, although symptoms can be treated. Many sufferers endure the cycle of pain silently, highlighting the urgent need for increased recognition and support for those affected. As Shand wrote in the Instagram caption for her video, Every month I ingest hundreds of painkillers, faint, vomit, spend nights and days crouched on the floor crying. This is all followed by intense waves of helplessness and depression. Despite her persistent pain, 
Alicia is adamant about sharing her story, aiming to raise awareness for endometriosis. Fortunately for the philanthropist, she can access treatments that many are unable to, including surgery that may offer relief from her relentless symptoms. While she acknowledges her fortune in accessing treatment, she is making the most of her condition. With the advantages of coming from a high-status family, she's using her platform to advocate for greater understanding and support for all people battling endometriosis. Aisha Shand is not often in the royal news or tabloids, despite her connection to the royal family. The art gallerist and conservationist shared a snapshot on Instagram where she appeared on the screen during the live broadcast of King Charles' coronation, writing, Five seconds of fame and serious attitude. With her role as an associate director at an art gallery, Aisha typically operates behind the scenes, focusing on her career and philanthropic endeavors rather than seeking public attention. Despite her occasional appearances at notable events, she prefers to keep her personal life out of the public eye which is quite an accomplishment for someone with such a close connection to one of the most famous families in the world. However, she's recently begun using her platform to speak out about mental health issues, such as bipolar disorder.